and welcome back to episode 2 of Socks Plays Stardew Valley. I didn't really go anywhere, do anything. Um, I'm going to do that now because I'm just going to clear some of this stuff out of my way. Um, I do need to get 50 wood, so let's, I'm going to work on that. Apparently I can't drop that. Never mind, yes I can. But 50 wood. That needs to be retrieved so I can um, build a chest to store all these resources that I'm going to have. And you'll see my energy is already going down from chopping down that giant tree. So we're just gonna simmer down on the chopping of the big trees because it does take a lot of energy. I'm gonna limit myself to two big trees. <laughs> until I can maybe upgrade my tools because it's a, it's a farming game and you can update, um, update, upgrade your tools. Come on, little tree, go down. I'm at 48, so I'm almost there. Uh, that wasn't my site. I quite often get my scythe and my pickaxe confused because I am used to like Harvest Moon style games where it's a hammer, not a pickaxe. Shit. Um, that was that was a big blunder. Okay, I have 51, so we're gonna go craft that chest. Let's put that down. Go back into our little decrepit house here. I'm just gonna pop that down right there. Open it up. Put the sap, the clay, the stone, and all that stuff in there, and that'll be good for that. So now, I think, because I can't really, like, I've already started working on the parsnip quest, um, so I can't really do much there. So now, we're just going to go around town and meet some peeps. Um, explore. Okay, so the bus is out of service. That's that's neat. Um, so this would be Pelican Town. It's an interesting little place. Um, some houses down here. Can I enter this house? I can enter this house. So I assume this is one of the people I have to meet. Um, Jody. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Thanks. Jody, that's nice. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around can really change things. That's nice. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Oh, Vincent. You're gonna wind up on the back of a milk carton one day. Um, who are you? May Lewis told me you just arrived by Marnie. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Uh, sure. Who are you? Oh, she has blue hair. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Neat. I have to meet 28 people. Ooh. Oh, wait. Who are you? You have purple hair. Come back. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving into that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields myself. Well, honey, you can come back anytime. Uh, why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. I will call you Granny, you sweet old woman. What's this? Oh, it's a calendar. Lewis's birthday is on the 7th, so the goal is also to give everybody a gift on their birthday, so I can cultivate relationships with people. Um, Let's go in here. There's nobody in here. Let's leave here. Hey, green hair. Hello, you must be Socks, new farmer. I'm Caroline. You're cute. My husband runs the general store, and I have. And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. Oh dear. Where are you? Hello, it's nice to meet you. You picked a good time to move here. Spring is lovely. Ah, oh, it's backpack. Okay. 
so I need 2,000 gold. So that's the goal for spring, is to get a backpack. Um, Okay, I'm going to buy five potato seeds, and I guess only three cauliflower seeds, and that's all I can buy right now, because I have ten gold to my name. We're going to go back to exploring. Um, who lives here? Old man. Hmm, but irritating to, have to meet all these new people, huh? Name George, by the way. No, buzz off. <laughs> oh, George. You're already my favorite. Who are you? Oh my god, I, I will become good enough friends with Alex Dunter's room. Let me in. Uh, the thing I also like about this game is that no matter what gender you are, you can marry any of the ten candidates. Hi. Oh, did you want something? Just, just to meet you. Why do you live in a trailer? Neat. Uh, how many people have I met? Twelve out of twenty-eight. So there, there are lots of people in Pelican Town, and not necessarily just like the town area. Um, can I come back here? No. Okay. Can I talk to you? No. Okay. Weird. Who's this guy? Blacksmith? You're... Or, hi, I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade on your tools, I'm your guy. Nifty. Um. Oh god. Join us, Thrive. Georgia Mart. This is a little scary. Um. Who's Pam? Don't be a jerk and we'll get a long time. Well, I'll try not to be a jerk, Pam. Who are you? Sam's on the clock. Better not get in trouble. Sean's at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Okay. Um. I'm not gonna talk to you. Do I have to talk to you? No, I don't. So I'm not gonna. Cause you creep me the hell out. I already talked to you. Um. Where else can I go? It is 4 p.m. already, and I haven't really done too much exploring. Oh, there's somebody. Shit. Oh, are you the one who just moved in? I'm Mario. I've been looking forward to meeting you. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. You're cute. Um, actually, let me see. So Penny is single, um, Abigail is single, Maru, the one we just talked to, is in fact single, um, Sam is single, even though we didn't actually introduce ourselves to him, we just heard the song that we're, Leah is single, um, Emily is not an option, uh, who's Robin, there's still quite a few people on this list. Of people that I have to meet. But I think that's a rabbit. Oh! Hello. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. You have a porn stash. I hope you'll find your own work equally rewarding in time. That's nice. Are you a marriage candidate? I think he is. Yeah, he is. That's okay. Um, we're gonna go around. I'm gonna see if there's anything I can, like, pick up to sell right now. Because if not... Um... I don't know what's over here, but... We're just gonna... I don't like messes, so... I'm gonna clear that area out right now. Right quick. Toot sweet. Um, so we- this is Pelican Town. Not too much to explore. Um, now up here. Is there anybody up here? I don't think so. Just 
Ooh. Alrighty. Oh, look down here. There's a guy. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks you for introducing yourself. Um, I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home lab. Have you met my daughter Mario? She's interested to meet you. I already have, in fact. Yes, it is exhausting to have to go meet everybody in town. And not having a good time. Um, looks like I can't go over there just yet. What's up here? A stranger, hello. Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Oh, that's kind of sad. Uh, can't go up here. Okay. It's over here. It's just a little walk path. It is. Um, oh. Okay. This leads me back to my friend. I'm gonna try to avoid cutting grass like that because I think that's what I use to feed like animals and stuff. So I don't really want that to go away just yet. Um, and it is 7:30, so my character's already it, she's she's tired. She doesn't have a lot of energy, so we're gonna go put all our goodies away and go to sleep. And I think that'll be enough for this episode as well. So. Thank you for tuning in, um, and I'll see you next time.